Hey guys, Mr. Free HD Night Cool here. I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit about the ships that they don't tell you. Uh, I'm gonna go in full detail because uh, I kind of discovered this in the game, and I'm gonna give you guys some help out tips. So when you play this game and you go into the ship building. I know when I first played this game, shipbuilding was very intimidating. I was like, I don't know how to build ships. I'm going to show you how to build a ship. And then I'm also going to show you what you need to do. Um, tips and what you need to do to how to figure out what you should build and and like things to give you some helps out so you can understand what's going on. Um, so we got the frontier here, right? Now you notice how when you get this screen, you press X on the ship building thing and it pulls up the diagram of the ship and it has the classes of the ship and the power generation, the repair rating and the reactors and the hull and the crew. That's how much crew you can have on your ship. But when you go into ship building, um, if you don't know what type of class of ship it is, what you want to do is look at the reactor for the ship. So, I think the Frontier has like a special reactor. Okay, there it goes. Okay, look at the reactor of the ship. That's what determines what class is your ship. So this is a class A without actually looking at the menu of the regular screen. So let's say this is a class A. This is the lowest class of the ship that you can get when you first start out in the game. So we're going to go to another ship that I kind of built. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Or like how can you tell like what classes there are. So say if you build a ship like this, right? And you don't know what class it is, but it tells you it's a class B. And say if the, the diagram and you're in shipbuilding, you're like, oh, what class of ship this is? Just go ahead and select the reactor. And under reactor, uh, it has the classes, classic, uh, there is, the classes of the ship and the piloting rank skills under it. So it will tell you that it's a class B ship and the rank required to run this ship is a rank three uh, skills and the um, background skills that you need. So like the piloting skills and stuff like that. So it will tell you that. So you can figure out, say, hey, I don't need to look at the menu. I can just look at the reactor and see what class of ship it is. They don't tell you that in the tutorial of this game. They of the ship tutorial. They don't tell you that. Okay, so this is what class it is. It's a class B ship. Now, when I first got into ship building, and I was like, okay, what? How do I bring up the menu of the game? for the parts of the ship. And I was like, okay, I'm a little bit confused. We're gonna go back to the, the frontier here. I was confused about that. So I went to action ship voter and I press A to add the stuff on the grid. So like if you're on your Xbox controller and you're playing PC or Xbox, just press, um, go off the grid, press A. Now this, menu can be complicated because you got the docking thing uh the docking thing is like your airlock stuff to basically to um when you land on a space station it will dock and you can get on the ship so they don't tell you that you need the docking at the top of the ship so like the ship right here, the Frontier, let me go up, it has a docking on the top. So every ship requires you to have the docking on top of the ship. Every ship requires you to have one reactor, one shield. So yeah, that's what you kind of need. So the uh, 
the cockpit is basically the front of the ship right here. This is where you drive the ship at. This is the cockpit. So the cockpit, there's different types of styles of cockpit and you kind of see like the different brands of cockpit that they have. There's Nova Galactic. These are all the different manufacturers in the game and faction components uh, in the game that they have. The cargo stuff is the cargo holds that you have for your ship inventory. So these are kind of interesting that you can have. And if you want to tell like what cargo hold, what holds the most, um, they have different stats on the details of them. So like this one might hold 245 cargo and it has a hold of five. This one might hold 320. The more expensive the item on your ship, the better your ship will be. Uh, you know, that's kind of how it works. But if you don't want to look at that, you just look at the bottom of the screen and it'll tell you uh, how much it will increase. So like this one will increase. I have 760 cargo space to basically on my ship and you're like well how can you have 760 cargo space and i'm playing this game and i and i just first started it's because i got the ship design skill and that's a lower that's a pretty high skill at the bottom of the tree like kind of like the third row so you have to get this to get more mod like i would say components for your ship so you need polony and you need ship design they don't tell you that and you get better uh cargo holds you can get better cargo holds by payloads but anyway uh we got different cargo holds um these are this one might go up to like 950 but this is just rank one of ship design if i got up to rank five it'll probably be more than that i have a lot more to mess with so if i had like rank two ship design i can have up to 1000 cargo um shielding cargo in the game is only two places that you can get it from there's the red mall and the crimson uh from the key you can only get shielded cargo from them that's how you do your smuggling stuff the bay these are stuff that you land on the grounds of your ship. This is the thing that you walk up on your ship. There's different ones. There's Nova Galactic and there's Deimos. Uh, of course, you got the weapons here. Uh, there's different types of weapons um, on on the game. Like you got cannons, auto cannons, uh, suppressors, EMP suppressors. That'd be sort of like your lasers. Um, kind of see like the stats go up uh, for like, this is like my cannons. If I order to equip that, I will have better cannons. And I'm going to show you in this video how to build a ship as well. Um, so you can kind of get a fully understanding a little bit more in detail of it. So... You see, I got the MP suppressor to go up. He was like, well, how do you get more guns on your ship? I'm going to show you guys. Um, we're going to show these pulse lasers, different ones. Uh, this one might be a missile launcher that you're going to add. If you're a character who has ballistic weapons and you like ballistic weapons and you like destroy stuff, I recommend having lasers on your ship as a skill because that's how you take over ships. Now, you got the Vanguard. So these, when you see Vanguard or you see something that's specifically towards the actual faction that you're playing is, that means that you can only unlock those specific parts from doing those faction missions. They don't tell you that, but yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got auto cannons more suppressors from Vanguard um, 
got different ones and it goes all the way down and some of it can be ship design weapons that you can get get better mods now we're going to talk about uh engines okay engines on the game you're going to put a lot of engines on your ship on the game because what engines do is they have this thing where you're going to get weighted down from your massive ship uh, for like your weapons and stuff, right? So like the weapons you put on there, the habs, everything that you put on there, the more engines you have on a ship, the less weight your ship weigh. So there's different ones you can get. Um, here you got class, different types of classes of engines. So you got class B. And this also depends on what your polity rank and your ship design rank is. So yeah, so different types of engines. Fuel tank, what is fuel tank guys? You're like, okay, what is fuel tank? Um, fuel tank is the fuel that you have to get to better star systems and stuff. So the higher your fuel tank would be, the more your ship will can go farther long distances as well. Sometimes you need to add more fuel tanks on your ship to basically uh, get to a certain point and it works with the grab drive. Uh, the gear, uh, landing gear is sort of like the legs on your ship, so it allows you to land. You also need these parts, so I think each ship needs four four landing gears. So two, two legs, so four legs you need on a ship. Grab drive. Grab drives allows you to jump on two different galaxies, and there's different ones which are the different manufacturers during the game. Uh, yeah. Okay, Habs. Habs are the stuff that you walk around here, but here's the thing that they do not explain to you about Habs, guys. Habs have components, have different types of Habs, and I did this the whole entire game, and I forgot about that I did this. I didn't know that you can switch the different habs out by on the d-pad so if you're on the pc or xbox and using controller you can switch up the habs by using the d-pad and pressing right or left and there's all these different habs that i didn't know about like the armory the captain's quarters the computer core the control station the infirmary. I didn't know that you can do that, and they didn't tell you that in the tutorial, but you can only do that for the habs in the game that you can use your D-pad, um, you know, to switch out. And there's different types of uh, habs with different manufacturers and stuff, like there's an engine. So yeah, okay, shielding. You can only have one shielding on the ship. Um, there's different types of shielding that you can get. Which you see it right there. Structures. I'm gonna explain to you what structures are. Uh, structures are different things that you can add on your ship. So like weapon mounts. Um, you know, different types of, like here, you remember how like off of that Guardians of the Galaxy movie where they had that little window, you can add that. So it's like a portal, um, like a little window you can add. Um, let's see, this is like a top window. You can add windows and different types of uh, structures on your ship to make it look different. That's what structures are. Sometimes it can be like different holes, um, 
you know, different types of stuff that you can add on your ship to make your ship look unique. And there's different types of structures and stuff. Like this is like the 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 tail of a ship, so you can add like a tail span on the back of your ship, so you can have like a wing tail, sort of like a piloting. It's pretty cool. Um, these are the different wings. This is like the bracers. Uh, this is Nova engine, uh, engine thing, which looks kind of cool. It's probably just an add-on to add on. So these things can be add on different types of stuff. So you got different, different types of stuff. Oh yeah. So just getting into the ship building so you can see the different weapon mounts and stuff. What is the best weapon mount? It's probably the Nova one because you can add multiple um, stuff to it because you can see all the blue bars, uh, the blue circles. Imagine those are Lego pieces that you can snap on. So like your, your, your guns and your ship, that's what they are. So let's get into a ship building. I'm not going to do uh, the frontier because the real reason why I don't want to do the frontier and take it apart is because it has a unique engine or actually unique, a unique reactor for it and they don't tell you that. So we're going to try using a, uh, a space one. We can try this one. Or we can do a Crimson Fleet one. But I'm going to start off with the, the Eclipse one. And this can be very intimidating for a new player who just getting into ship building. So the first thing you want to do is to, when you get into ship building, is to basically select the cockpit. Okay. Go like that. Okay. These are your control stations. Control stations is a hab. You can move that. These are your engines. You can have that. Okay, we got the grab drive underneath. So this is the grab drive there. So what are these landing gears? These actually might be unique to this ship. And then we got the docking, which is has to be at the top. Okay. Let's see. First thing we're going to add on this ship. First thing you should do is add a hat. So, which have you want to add? It's up to you. So, if if I was you, I will add a. Let me see. You got a captain's quarters. Uh, engines, living quarters. Let's see something that's useful. I don't think this ship, would this ship have a... Okay, first thing I will add is a workshop to my ship because you want to build stuff out on the game. So I will add that. Press A, Noble Galactic Workshop. Again, it has a five hole, passion slot two. So I will add a workshop. Second thing is we need weapons on the ship. So we need to look at and find where the weapons are. So it has these pulse lasers up on here. So you add the hab, which is the stuff you walk around here. It has pulse lasers. We're going to take those pulse lasers off. It has two on the side. For the Eclipse ship. And then take that. And you can kind of see it has like a spine on the ship, which is pretty cool. And it has two engines on the back. Uh, we're not going to mess with the landing gear. It might be unique to this type of thing because it's got a lot of 
um, different types of landing gear. It might be specifically made for the ship. So, let's see if we got anything else. Okay, there's some there's some automatic cannons right here. You want to take that? We're going to put them somewhere where it's going to look cool. All right. What else? Okay. It's got a mount it right there. You want to take that apart right there? Uh like that. So we're gonna delete these weapons because we're gonna add new weapons to them. And we also get credits back when we delete all this stuff. All right, we got the tank. Okay, we got our Habs. We got a workshop. It's good with an infirmary, guys. Just get an infirmary on this ship because you need health. We got a workshop. See if I can find it. It was. Okay, infirmary. And I add that. You can add infirmary at the bottom or at the top, but I'm gonna add it at the bottom. Kind of like connect it. Then, what else do we need? We need a weapons, uh, mounted weapons. We need weapons on our ship. Let's see, we go in constructors and we look at the weapon mounters that we can add. And... Nova weapon mounts is pretty cool. I just like the design of it. So we're gonna go ahead and have that. Okay. This is the grab drive right here. We're gonna delete this grab drive. We want a better grab drive, guys. But we're gonna have to move our hubs real quick. A uh, better grab drive. All right, let me scroll through. Grab that drive. Okay, the Vanguard one. We can go Vanguard, or we want to jump pretty high. might go with this one so the light years it jumps is like how many light years you can go so the max I can go is 30 I'm gonna go with this one right here and we're gonna put this drive right here so we got one drive I'm gonna put these hubs Or we can just like attach them on the side. You gotta wait till they turn green to attach them. And okay, we got this other hub right here. Okay, so we gotta make it look clean. So we got two on top, so you can. So we stack them on top, guys. They'll basically have like a little ladder, and you can go up on top of them. It's pretty cool. All right. Yes. Let's add weapons. It's gonna be our weapons mount. Do we want to keep this cockpit? I don't think we should. I think we're gonna change the cockpit entirely. Let's see. So, you got Deimos, Nova Galactic, which is really cool. Uh, and then we got this one. Let's give it a nice one. Let's 
We're gonna add that right there. Now, this is the engine. Right here. We can re add this engine, or we can add a completely new engine to it. I think we're gonna add a new engine, guys. So. Remember, if your mass, if your ship's very he heavy, you gotta add more engines to it. All right, we're gonna go. Let's see, reactor shields. Okay, we gotta add weapons on our ship as well. Let's get the weapons. Okay, here's the engines. We want a nice engine on our ship. Okay, go with this. Let's quit that. Right there. And we don't need this, we can just delete that. And we need some weapons. It's very simple. Okay, the weapons are a little bit more complicated in terms of let's delete this hab. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated because it doesn't. You gotta uh, assign your weapons onto your ship, so you kind of have to know which weapons. Just experiment and see. So I just say I want. I want Vanguard stuff. Um, say I want regular missiles, right? Missiles. Uh, another Vanguard missile launcher. So I got two missiles. But then I say I want some lasers as well. Get some lasers. Real quick. I know this is a long video. And get some more lasers. I'm just putting random weapons on here. Uh, this one has like a beam. Lasers. All right, got the hubs, got the engines. We need cargo space. So, like, we have this nice ship, and we don't have any cargo, and we need fuel. We need good cargo, and it's gonna probably add me to have more engines to it. So we can put cargo right here. Uh -huh. so, so our cargo will be like sixteen. But we kind of don't want to go overboard our money here. Alright, let's do a different one. Uh, we can flip it. See, sometimes it can add cargo on the back. We got this nice ship. We need engines. See you guys. We need definitely need engines on here. Um, because like you definitely need engines. Go 
because the more engines you have, let's see about this engine that we had, we can kind of duplicate this. Press Y. Add this. You can add as many engines you want on a ship. Might have to put a structure. Okay. Okay. Now we can do a flight track, a uh, flight check. So ship contains model. Okay. So the reactor of the ship. Okay, so we can see what's wrong with the ship. It has more different weapons. You see power, reduce the engine count. So I can just reduce that. So maybe it has like an engine problem. Ship has weapons that can have it been assigned to a group. Must add engines to recruit. So might you might need to add a different type of engine. Right. Nothing too big. We might have to add an engine on the back of it. So maybe my reactor is the problem here. Okay. Yeah, it's talking about the weapons. But it keeps saying adding more engines. So I wonder if we add a different type of engine to it. Would that be the problem? Very complicated. Let's try a different engine. Huh. All right. Okay, so it might be the weapons. All right. So we just got to Okay, we got to find a reactor. We got to find a reactor and just uh Okay. That's the grab drive. Okay, these are the engines. Okay, landing bay. The storage room. Okay, let's move this. Storage room. Okay. So I gotta find the reactor. Okay, there's the reactor. It's at the bottom. I'm gonna delete that. Let's put a different reactor on to it because it says like your reactor is receding much better. We need a nice reactor. Um, 
Okay. Ooh, that's a lot more. Yeah, we gotta find something that's in our price range. Uh, yeah, it's this one. This one has 20. Okay, 20, 16, 18, 20. Okay. All right. Now we can put this all together. I think can. This can be a little bit difficult and a little bit tricky. Okay, we got the reactor. Uh, storage room, landing gear. Let's see. Okay, man. Let's just have the hubs. Ship. Grab drive. Okay, we're gonna add the grab drive somewhere else. Okay, so it's just talking about my weapons. Only thing you gotta do is assign them. Uh, it wasn't. It won't even be that hard. Yeah, this is like if you want them on right or left. Uh, can check the flight. Reduces mass by adding. Change models at C react. So wait a minute. Keeps going back to the reactor. So the reactor is the issue here. Let's just delete that. Cause yeah, it can be complicated. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and try the reactor again. Cause we need a better reactor. That might be it. And then we're going to do a cheaper graph drive. Okay, so it's not that. Or we might have to have a cheaper reactor and a cheaper grab drive. Okay. Grab drive. Okay, no, that's a reactor. Um, yeah, that's what we gotta do. We gotta have a cheaper grab drive. Or a uh, grab drive that can really not be 
too bad. Uh, gotta have a, a good react, like a cheaper reactor. Sometimes you gotta cut like your losses in the in a game where you like. Uh, Like, you gotta go cheaper to order to bounce off the ship. So the reactor and the, uh, I'm guessing the reactor has to be the same. So if it's a class B, it has to be a class B reactor. Okay. That's what I'm guessing. Class B and class B grab drive, right? Class B grab drive. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's got to be the same grab drive. Okay, we got this done. Uh, let's see. We just got to add more engines, guys. Oh, that's too expensive. You can go with some class A, can't we? Nope. So I'm wondering what class this is a class C engine. cheaper okay we're just gonna add like little cheap class 8 engines <laughs> uh, let's add more class 8 engines just gotta find where we can put it on Okay. They don't say the docking. Hmm. I might have to add a structure. That's what I might have to do. I might have to add a structure on the ship. So we don't like overexpend our money. Yeah, we're gonna have to add a structure to mess with this engine. If I can. Oh, I can just stick it on the back of that. Okay, I need to add more engines. So it'll keep saying you need to add more engines until you balance it out. Then it'll say invalid docking. Uh, 
Oh, it sees the length and the height. So... Can you put the engines up? Okay, you keep saying adding more engines. Uh. Come on. Needs to be on the outside of my ship. This is. Do I have to make a new docking model? Hmm. I'm gonna move this. Let's see. Add that right here. And it'll, uh, like I say, it's maybe that engine's in the way. And that's the problem. That the engine's in the way. Okay, now I'm using too much power. Like this shit. And I want to feel a lot of save it. Nope. So we gotta do something with this docking module. I wonder can we just change it? Where we have a better one. Okay, cool. Okay, we added that. And... We're gonna add, like, we need to add an engine, but it's gotta be... I don't know, if it's yellow, I can save, right? Yeah. Okay, I can accept it. Finally. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and go to modify real quick. Okay, no problem. And then... We're just gonna go upgrade. And now keep saying more engines. We just add one. Yes. And then, like, the weapons, you can kind of, like, upgrade it from here. So that's my ship. I kind of built it. <laughs> we'll see how... Uh, it's a Class B ship. Uh, Vendor Crest then took all my creds. But we might add a uh, Captain's Quarters later on with this ship. But I hope you enjoy my ship building. I kind of did some tips to show you... Uh, what you should do to how to build a ship. It can be complicated uh, Like and subscribe if you want to see some more of this content because it's really long videos of me building ships and they kind of get frustrated. I Mean it's not the best But as you play and as you get more money You can start upgrading and figuring out what you need to do with the ship. So yeah, Please like and subscribe, help up my channel, help me get monetized, please help me out, peace.